Hi, this is Doug from AppleiPhoneSchool.com and I'm here to answer your iPhone questions. Today's question comes again from my cousin Brian. Uh, he's an IT guy at a company and they're switching over to iPhone so he's got lots of questions but there are a lot of questions that I get from everybody so um, today's is what case do you recommend for the iPhone? Now this totally it doesn't matter what I recommend people are gonna get what they want. So what I typically recommend it depends on what you're wanting it for, um, what style you're going for, what environment you work in. I mean, there's all, there's all kinds of things that, that matter. So, first of all, I really like companies like um, InCase. So, it's kind of a funny name, like InCase, you drop it. But it's one word, InCase, I-N-C-A-S-E. And then um, Griffin is really good. I mean, there are tons. I do not like Spec. I, it's what AT&T typically carries, and it's just... They're way overpriced and they fall apart. I just don't like them. I don't. I like the Apple bumpers, but they fall apart too. So, um, a lot of people. Um, what what I personally do is I either go to the Apple Store. Um, I go to Brookstone. Um, those are good for iPads too. Um, this is for cases for anything: iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or Best Buy. A lot of companies are getting smart and they're making their their boxes open without wrecking the box. So you can go into like Best Buy, the last time I was in there I actually had a table all set out when the, um, I think it was, was the new iPad, or the, it was the new iPhone I think. But either way, you take it in there and they've just got a table sitting there with all the cases on it and you just go through and you can open the box and test it and try it on, put it on, take it back off and don't like it, try a different one and just keep trying and trying. What I, I don't like slippery cases so um, the iPhone has always, um, not as bad with the 3G and 3GS with the plastic, but like the original metal um, iPhone, the first one that was aluminum, and then the, the glass back ones, and even the new, um, I believe it's aluminum back. Like if you lay them on like the, side, like the arm of a couch or on your pant leg, they slide off. And, or in the car, like if you've got it in the car and you've got to sit on your lap and it just slides all around or on the seat next to you or whatever, it's just so annoying. So what you can do is get a case, and I like the ones, I don't like super rubbery cases, because when you go to pull them out of your pocket, they stick to your inside of your pocket and just can't get them out. So you want this like in-between type material, it's, it's not felt, it's just that's what it reminds me of, it's like this soft um, material. But um, that's, that's kind of the material I recommend, or some of the shinier rubbers that are more like a flexible rubber but they're still slippery but they're still not it's it's a very hard I'm really picky about cases so um I don't like screen protectors um I don't like I just feel like uh I don't know I like a naked iPhone like glass so I like that it's just more responsive like every time you touch you're going to get response sometimes it's just it's just not the same and so you've got to have clear screen. Now, of course, if you drop, well, if you drop your phone with a case on and you still have a screen protector, it's not going to protect it from breaking. So a screen protector, all it does is keep it from scratching. And really, the iPhone screens for quite a while now haven't scratched as easily. Do they scratch? Yes. Do they break? Yes. But um, I've never, I've never, I've never broken one. My wife has broken one. It was sitting on her lap when she got out of the car, I believe, and she got out and jumped onto the ground and broke so and I think um, I don't know where it hit but it broke and I've got a couple that have had scratches in them but it was pretty traumatic hits that caused the scratches so it's not like you're just gonna get scratches from everyday use so um, I don't like screen protectors um, anyways back to cases um, another place to go is Amazon so I have a lot of friends that buy them um, Amazon from China for like three dollars, which is sweet because if you have a Prime account with Amazon, it's two day. Well, it's supposed to be two day shipping, but sometimes they don't guarantee that from China. But you can still get it for free shipping, so it's like a three dollar case. And um, obviously, you get what you pay for, but they're actually not bad for three dollars or five dollars or whatever. And um, you can just it's fun to accessorize that way if you're somebody that likes to match what you're wearing or what you're doing or whatever. So you can get a lot of team sports ones on there and things like that. Um, Otterbox, I've always liked Otterbox. 
I don't like their bulky cases, but I'm sure if you were in the business that required that, then uh, you'd get a bulky case. But they got some pretty good cases. I usually go to Radio Shack for that because they usually have the best prices for some reason. I don't know if they got a deal with them or what. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, write, write in the comments, uh, what are your favorite cases? I mean, that's what the community is about, right? Let's share uh, what you guys are using for your case, what you like, where you got it, where there's good deals. Um, my biggest, my biggest thing though is go, go in and buy it, and, or I mean, go in and test it, because most cases open, most places you can test them out, and everyone wants something different. So uh, that's all I got for you for this one. Um, if you've got any more questions, just go ahead and leave them in the. Uh, comments underneath this video on YouTube or tweet them at iPhone School uh, or you can uh, write them on the website. So thanks a lot. See you later.